Most dinosaurs never lived long enough to grow up. But some parents fought with everything they had to protect their babies. Long before humans walked the earth, dinosaurs were building families. We know this because paleontologists have uncovered entire nesting grounds, circles of eggs arranged with precision, sometimes stretching for miles. These weren't random piles. They were intentional, structured, and often reused year after year. Just like modern birds. When a hatchling broke through its shell, it entered a world filled with danger. Most baby dinosaurs were tiny, fragile, and soft-skinned. Nothing like the armored giants they would one day become. But they weren't alone. Fossil trackways show adults lingering near nests, pacing, circling, and returning again and again. Take the Notosaur, for example, an armored herbivore covered in bony plates and spikes. Its babies hatched with only the faintest beginnings of armor, barely enough to protect them from a hungry predator. So what did the parents do? They stayed close. Their massive bodies acted like shields, blocking attacks and creating a safe zone where the hatchlings could explore, feed, and grow. Some fossils even hint at parental feeding behavior, a parent lowering its head, offering soft ferns to a newborn still wobbling on unsteady legs. It's a moment that feels almost modern, a reminder that care, protection, and connection are new inventions. They're ancient. Every nest, every eggshell, every tiny footprint tells the same story. Dinosaurs weren't just monsters of the past. They were parents, guardians. Creatures who invested time, energy, and risk into giving their young a chance at life. And when we look at a fossilized nest or a tiny hatchling preserved in stone, we're not just seeing bones. We're seeing a moment of love frozen in time. 110 million years old and still speaking. 